so we now come to the depression of freezing point depression of freezing point due to mixing of a non volatile solute in in a solvent okay now for that let us try to understand what is a freezing point okay what is a freezing point so at freezing point what happens the liquid phase of of the substance is in dynamic equilibrium with the solid phase the the liquid phase is in dynamic equilibrium is in dynamic equilibrium with the solid phase right okay now how is that possible that is possible just as it happens between liquid and vapor phase so what happens <clears throat> so freezing point is defined as is defined as the temperature at which at which the vapor pressure of the liquid phase the vapor pressure of the liquid phase equals the vapor pressure of the solid phase correct now it will immediately make it clear how the things should should be behaving if we see the graph of of the various components so this is the graph of this is the graph between the vapor pressure on on the y axis so it is vapor pressure and this is temperature okay vapor pressure and temperature now by liquid solvent my liquid solvent is something like this okay. while my frozen solvent is something like this okay so this is my liquid solvent solvent in the liquid state this is my frozen solvent this is my frozen solvent okay and this is the point where they where they intersect so this must be my original freezing point and i decide to denote it by tf not okay now what happens what happens i have got my my solution fine so so the solution it behaves like this okay 
this is my solution okay and and, and we see just by the very nature of the graph okay even when we don't apply any of the logics that we have been propounding just by looking at the graph and by understanding this thing that the vapor pressure of the liquid phase equals the vapor pressure of the solid phase we very readily understand that my that my freezing point has to go down <coughs> do we get the point and that's how it goes down i'd like to tell one thing here vapor pressure of the solid phase is something is something that we are not able to digest okay let me let me tell you at this stage that there are certain solids which we call the subliming solids right they are the solids which directly change from the solid state to the gaseous state like camphor like phenolphthalein balls right like like ammonium chloride but but that is not the end of the story all the solids okay all the solid subline fine though their sublimation temperature may be very high okay they they might they might start subliming at a higher temperature because it is a surface phenomena after all it's tearing away of of molecule by molecule from the bulk of the matter in the similar manner that a liquid becomes a vapor correct a liquid becomes a vapor so every solid has has a vapor pressure and it increases with temperature and every solid has a subliming ability the rate of sublimation obviously goes up as you raise the temperature fine it is as simple as that so so this is this is how the the moment the vapor pressure of our solution itself goes down so so what happens they become equal the frozen solvent and the solution their vapor pressure becomes equal at at a lower temperature tf okay at a lower temperature tf and and this is the fall in the temperature fine now if if we we have okay <coughs> so obviously as per the raoult's law the vapor pressure of a solution of a solution comes down with the temperature with with addition of a non volatile solute and hence the vapor pressures of the solution and the solid state become equal at a lower temperature so let tf not be the original freezing point okay let tf not be the freezing point of pure solvent okay and let tf be the 
freezing point of the solution okay <coughs> And how are we preparing our solution? Solution formed by dissolving a non volatile solute. In solvent non volatile solute in the solvent then what is the decrease in the decrease in the freezing point it will be delta t f is equal to T f not minus T f. There is a there is a technical thing out here. I would like that to be pointed out. Normally, it is taken as the final minus the initial. Here, we have taken initial minus the final. Why? Because, with, yeah. So, so uh, uh, it would have uh, the decrease part tells me that it has gone down. So, if I say the temperature has fallen by 30 degree centigrade or I will say the temperature has changed by minus 30, the things are the same, right? So, so that is why that T f naught minus T f okay, is called depression in the freezing point, depression in the freezing point, right. This is called depression in the freezing point decrease okay a uh, uh, more technical word being used here nothing else okay now <coughs> now it has been seen that the the depression experimentally experimentally it has been seen that it has been seen that the depression in the freezing point, depression in the freezing point is directly proportional to of a dilute solution. This is important, okay, of a dilute solution is directly proportional to to the molality of the solution to the molality of the solution. Okay. So, what does it mean? It means that T f minus T naught, T f minus T naught is directly proportional to M. Okay. It is directly proportional to M, which is the molality and, and hence is equal to K f into M where where k f is where k f is called freezing point depression constant or or it is also called molal Molal depression constant, molal depression constant, or or K 
क्रायोस्कोपिक क्रायोस्कोपिक इट इज क्रायोस्कोपिक कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज टी टी एफ नॉट माइनस टी एफ क्रायोस्कोपिक 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 यस क्रायोस्कोपिक कॉन्स्टेंट ओके क्रायोजेनिक्स इज इज एनीथिंग दैट इज डीलिंग विद 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 एक्सट्रीमली लो टेम्परेचर्स ओके द स्पेस क्रैट्स हैव क्रायोजेनिक इंजन Hmm? For the simple reason that you need to store the fuel in form of liquid, okay, and it is basically hydrogen and oxygen, and they have to be kept at at say minus one forty degree centigrade. So the engine has to be such that it takes in that liquid, burns it, and ejects out the gas, right? So and and it is a it is a front end technology. So that's why many of this. countries are not able to enter into the spacecraft thing okay fortunately india has its own cryogenic engine that's a really really great achievement so it is equal to kf m <coughs> now if uh, if oh, and and what is the unit what is the unit of this what is the unit of kf Unit of Kf will be what? This is Kelvin, and this is m is what mole per kg. So Kelvin kg per mole. Correct. Okay. Now, if we have W two amount of solute, whose 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 molar mass is m2 and w1 grams of solvent whose molar mass is m1 right 